Greetings, Starseeds and Lightworkers. Ava here today. Those of you who are new here, welcome. Those of you who are familiar with me, welcome back. Uh, we are trans-channeling the Pleiadians and the Living Ma, a group of collective that is very vast of benevolent beings here to help us in this time of transition on our planet. And we've got a question really interesting from uh, Mayer. Thank you for your question. He writes, is the New Testament mostly forgery? Were the Quran and Hebrew Bible corrupted? And why did the Abrahamic religions come to be? I know these are three separate questions, but they feel intertwined to me. So we're going to ask it as this bigger question of what what was going on with these these ancient texts? You know, it, what? how did all this happen, right? How did all this come into the religions as we know it today? And what about their sacred texts? You know, like what's going on there? So great question. I'm going to go ahead and go out and I'm going to put you in touch with the Pleiadians and the Living Ma. Here we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> Greetings. This is Daina. You see a Pleiadian family, you see. We are here to bring the love. We love to say that, especially for the what you call the newbies, you see, the ones who are here for the first time, you see. Checking out, make sure we are um, what you call of the love, of the light, all these things, you see. We are here to bring the love. And we are here to to help, you see. We are really here to help to clarify, you see, to help to to along the way, give you the, the, the guidance so that you can really be in the fullness of who you are and why you're here. So this is very, very good. <clears throat> we have a little more of a um, a curiosity question around um, what you have in the historic the historic record you see of your your earth you see around the um, the religions and the books that go with the religions you see this is very interesting because um, you know this Abba the one that is channeling here <clears throat> has a little bit of a mission you see with um, what you call the Saint Paul you see Saint Paul and he um, he is here to clear up a lot of the confusion, you see. But this is really not the right platform for Paul to be speaking through. He's going to do it more in the written form with the Ava at a later date. Mm, once the children are grown, so you can look back at the, we we'll give you the little, what you call the preview of that one, you see. But we can give you some little tidbits to give you some mm, clarity and something to look forward to, you see, with the Paul coming through with it more, mm, the bigger and bigger, bigger compass of, of, of everything, all the details, you see, of, of what was going on, you see. But yes, is the short answer to um, whether the books are manipulated. Yes, there was much, much manipulation, lots of um, texts that were destroyed, that were hidden, that were, um, were really, um, really altered is really the best way to say. You say they, they did their best to alter based on um, what they felt was necessary at the time in order to keep the, 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 the power, the control, you see. So it was really um, a big part of that, which, which, which you would call a council, a Nicaea, you see. Um, this, this time period, you see, was actually a big time when they sat down and, and actually did some of the altering. They missed quite a few things, though, you see. Even with the, the, the versions that they have here, they were not able to catch every little detail of some of the things they were trying to remove, such as the reincarnation, you see, such as... Um, Mm, the extraterrestrial references, you see. So mm, there are very many things in there that they were trying to, even mm, the kingdom being within, you see, rather than the kingdom being something outside of yourself. You see, this was the primary teaching of Jesus, you see, was mm, that the, the kingdom is within, you see, and it was really mm, mastery over the different chakra points on the body, bringing in the light. A lot of what is going to be retaught here through Ava mm, with the Magdalene, you see, another one that she channels you see this is really another thing that is coming down the pipeline a little bit re teaching what were these teachings you see what were these ways that they brought in the light that they mm, activated the light form you see this is really more of what is going to be coming online as well so but they were very mm, they were the the, the 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 people at the time primarily the the, the men at the time because the with the women had a different role at that time were were <clears throat> trying to keep the power, you see, trying to keep the power. And so they had to really do some altering in order to, to really to really make sure that that was going to happen. So yes is the short answer. Plus there are many, mm, the original, the original book, you see, the original text, you see, was mm, was, was was really like a, a, a channeling, a download, you see, from a, 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 also from extraterrestrial sources, you see. And contains the codes, contains the codes of creation. 
you see. And so within the, the, the code of creation, people spend their entire lives sometimes l trying to learn these codes, you see, in the, mm, what you would call like the, mm, the, the, the Torah, you see. So this is a part that's a little bit more intact, you see. <clears throat> and then it has the codes in there. You can go in and look in the, the different languages of the original. And, and the Hebrew in particular is a nice one for the, the code, the code. Um, the codes in there, you see. So that is really, mm, and they 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 touch on the, the different parts of the DNA, you see, as well. You see, they 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 touch upon the different parts of the DNA, and and, and that is really the way that they, that they kind of come through a little bit. And we are getting some, mm, some interference from another that wants to come through very strongly, you see, to answer this question. You see, we are just debating whether or not to 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 do that right in this moment. You see, we are feeling like. Mm, Perhaps we will pause on that <clears throat> because we are really here to to be of most assistance in the the broader spectrum. You see the broader spectrum. So what we are saying <clears throat> is that it doesn't really actually matter so much. You see whether it was tampered with, whether it wasn't. You see everyone on the planet. This is really important to you. This is if you're tuned out, tune back in. You see this is really important. Everyone is always doing their best. You see they are always doing their best to play the role that they came to fulfill. So sometimes it might seem like, oh, they are really doing a bad job of being a human. They're actually doing the perfect job of being the human that they came to be, you see. We're all doing our very best job, you see. So to give each other a little bit of grace in the puzzle here, because we are all here to help one another, to be a mirror and a reflection of one another, and to help the, the puzzle pieces all make sense together. You have to have the dark pieces with the light pieces, and you have to have it all make sense. You see, they, they, they don't go together unless they all go together. You see, if you have one puzzle piece, piece missing, it does not feel complete, you see. So everyone is doing the best job that they can. So even if it feels like, well, why are they going around changing all the books and burning all the books and turning the, the information upside down and backwards, you see, and not giving us everything that we we really know that that it is in our ancestry that they knew to to really be the full human, you see. Well, this was a little too threatening to have so many full humans running around and not, not, not so easy to control, you see. So that period that we're coming to an end and we're coming back to the period where it is it is it's really in, in the timing to be in the fullness again. So this is really mm, cycles of time. You see, cycles of time. You see, so the, the religions themselves, you see, become constructs that mm, provide for, on one level, structure for a certain humans that come in that need the structure. And for others, it creates mm, creates walls of, of what it feels like prison, you see. So it just depends on what your role is, you see, what you're here for. See, so, so for some people, the religion was exactly perfect. You see, it, it gave them the, the, it gives them the, the, the structure, the form, the, the, the weight to, to relate with it in the mind of, of what their, their fractal is here for, you see. So that is very good for them, you see. For others, it feels like the jail cell that they need to break out of. You see, perhaps many of you listening here feel that way. You see, that is very possible. You see, but whatever your role is, the, the, the key is to know your role. Know your role and play it in the full. Play it in the full spectrum of your role. You see, that is really the bigger message here is can you be in your fullness? Can you be in the full of your 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 mission here? You see, so yes, there were, yes, there was some tampering. Yes, there was some rearranging. Yes, there was some burning. Yes, there was some hiding. All these things, you see. And the religions also come in the play be, be in a similar way, you see, to in order to control, in order to create structure that um, created boxes that would, would not, um, uh, what does a box do? It, it, it contains, you see, contains, you cannot contain that which is infinite. You see, you are an infinite being, you see, a be creator created altogether. You see, so if you try to put that in a box, it doesn't fit, you see. But see, that was the purpose of religion at the time was to provide the box so that there could be some control and, and a, a cap on it, so to speak, a cap of the infinite um, multidimensionality of who you are. And a little bit of forgetting then happens, you see, putting in the box, putting in the box, putting in the box, you shoving it into the box, you see. So, um, but again, for some, this was very... Um, this this was really good for them. You see, this was really appropriate for the time for certain people and still is. The construct of religion works for them. You see, it works for their, their soul, for their mission, for who they are, for what they're here for. And that's very good. It's very fine. Others, it does not work because there are the different mm, part in their journey 
where it is they are now ready to be in the fullness again. You see, they're ready to be the, to experience the fullness of their multidimensionality. And so mm, 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 going to push the box, the top of the box off, you see. And so you're already, and, and that is why you see a lot of um, people in what you call these kind of circles here that are tuning into people like Daina, who are popping off their boxes in the religion and even um, being very anti-religion, you see, in these ways. And it can be because it, it feels too constricting for who you really are, the fullness of it. And there is a sweetness with the religions. You see, there is, you can always find the threads of the sweetness, the threads of the truth. And there are always ways to connect in with anyone who is, is in the box. You see, there's always going to be threads of sweetness for connection, you see. And that is, it's really where you want to relate to on the spectrum of multidimensionality, you see. So wherever you are ready for is what is available, you see. And that this is very, it's very sweet in that way. So you can look at it through any lens, you see. You can look at it through a lens of judgment and say, well, if we're going to judge all of that that happened, it is very, very wrong of them to do that. Or you can look at it through, mm, it was the timing, you see. It was the the, the time of the of, of the, the, the patriarch, you see. The things like this. You can look at it through that lens and, and make it make sense, you see. You can look at it through many lenses and, and try to, to put a... Mm, a, a place where it, it makes sense, you see, but it is really mm, coming to a deeper understanding of mm, the roles that everything plays in the life, you see, and finding your place in it all and finding how you can, can move within it all and you can be your fullness of your multidimensionality within everything that is happening, you see, not to get too sidetracked, not to get too dis distracted by all of it, you see. Unless it is your mission, you see, then it is not a distraction. It is actually your mission to go into it and, and understand it. And that is part of you being in your multidimensionality. So this is what I mean when I say understanding your role, understanding what is, what is your, your part in it, you see. And it is always following the joy. It is always following what ignites your spirit, what, what fills you up. And following that, you see, because when you are in your joy, when you're in the frequency of joy, then everything expands and you are naturally beginning to experience all of those, those different dimensions of yourself. And so you're naturally allowing more and more of your multidimensionality to be, to be experienced and therefore you are aware of it, you see, and that is really the point, you see, because then you are coming into the world being more in your wholeness, you see, and then that is very inspiring for others to be around. So this is very, very good, you see. You see, we, we give you a little bit of a, of, of a tease there with that one. But with you, Paul will come eventually. Paul will, Paul will come. You stay tuned. You keep tuning in. You look for the books eventually. You see, Paul will come and we'll give you all the story because this is his, mm, this is his karmic mm, completion in this way, you see, to come back full circle and, and give the fullness of the story. We won't give too much away because we, we, it, is a, it is a fascinating read, you see. So we'll leave it at that blessings to you all very much. We love you dearly and we are so grateful for you showing up every day in the forum and doing your best job. Very, 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 very proud. <clears throat> mm. Ah, I trust that message was exactly what you needed to hear today. And if it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, like it. And if you would like to get a reading with Diana or you have a question that you would like answered on one of these shows, go ahead and you can pop your questions in below. You can head over to our website, avaora.com, and you can get a reading there. You can go and sign up for a reading. We've got a few slots available for readings coming up here. Uh, I believe next month is when we have some openings. So go ahead and pop on over there if you'd like. So grateful for all of you in this community. Thanks for continuing to share show up and I love you all. We'll see you again very soon. Blessings.